Hi there, handbaggers, and welcome to the Duck's Nest. This is the Military Mom, and this week's video is going to be two parts. The first part is going to be personal, and the second part, of course, is going to involve handbags. And I am here in the Operations Center. It is a beautiful day outside, so I have the two windows open. You will likely hear birds chirping, motorcycles <laughs> rumbling, and probably some loud music because I think everyone is just so excited, first of all, about this weekend being Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial start of summer. Second of all, it's finally warm. And uh, yeah, I think that everybody's just ready to get out and be social. And that is part of what I want to talk about in this video. So if you do not um, want to hear the personal part of the video, you of course have the right to fast forward or click off. But I'm going to um, get really real with you all. Uh, I try to always be truthful in my videos with you. I've shared my successes in the handbagging endeavor. I've shared my eBay fails. I am transparent with you all about how much my bags are costing, you know, what I'm spending for them. But I am going to go off the script and um, talk to you about the current situation in our nation and in the world and my personal take on it. So let me start with my t-shirt. My t-shirt has two elements of two things that I love. First of all, my faith and second of all, Downton Abbey, which I am a Downton Abbey aholic. I am a Downton Abbey addict. I am a Downton Abbey junkie. Yeah, I own the complete set. <laughs> And so usually when you see Downton Abbey merchandise, it says keep calm and carry on or keep calm and ring Carson for tea or something like that. But this t-shirt says keep calm and trust God. And that is what I want you all who may not know the Lord to consider. Um, corona has turned our world upside down and me included. Everything that I know is topsy-turvy except my faith. My faith is the same place it was before Corona. It is on the bedrock of my life and my worldview, in case you haven't figured it out, is um, I have a Christian worldview. And the really, really tiny print at the bottom of my t-shirt says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, and I will be exalted in the earth. And the first part of that verse, be still, it's actually a command. And I had to come to that realization, be still. So what is going on in the world today is everything but us being still. We're running here and there. We're trying to follow all of the advice of the authorities. We're trying to follow all of the information. We're getting conflicting information. Um, we have YouTube videos that are being shut down because the information in the videos is not matching the official narrative, blah, blah, blah. And all of that, I come back to this t-shirt. Be still and know that I am God. God has all of this in control. So let me start at the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved across the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And he segregated the light from the day. And the light he called day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. 
actually he separated the light from the darkness. That is the foundation of the Christian faith, that God created everything. So fast forward, after he created, yeah, the most fast, after he created the world, the last thing that he created was man. And God gave man what we call free will. And he gave man commandments. Well, man exercised his free will and he broke God's law. And that fractured paradise from where we are now. So we were all born with a sinful nature. And I don't have to explain a sinful nature. We should all hopefully understand what that means. And God knew that he had to pour out his wrath on man for being sinful because in the days of Noah man was sinful continuously so that means that we are all born with the sinful nature and we are all deserving of the wrath of God but God so loved the world that he own, that he gave his only begotten son that who Whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And the eternal life comes in the form of his son Jesus. He sent Jesus to save us from his wrath because we're all liars and we're all murderers and we're all adulterers and we're all fornicators and we have moved away from the paradise that God created. So, when we needed someone to save us from God's wrath, he sent Jesus, who was born of a virgin, and died a horrible death on the cross. He hung on the cross because God so loved the world, and we needed a substitution because we could not save ourselves. So, the blood that Jesus shed covers our sin if you believe in God and when I say God I'm not talking about just some nebulous God I'm talking about Jehovah the Adonai the creator of the universe who is a spirit and who loves us and the only commandment that we have for being saved from our sin is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not trying to convince everybody. I'm not trying to convince anybody. All I'm doing is sharing the gospel with you. And the gospel is that Jesus, the Son of God, came as a man with full deity. He lived among men for 33 years and he died on the cross for our sins so that we who are loved by God can be reconciled to God I hope I'm doing a good job of explaining this but I wanted to share this with you all to let you know that Corona ain't got me fooled okay Corona is not running my life the Lord Jesus Christ is running my life his commandments his statutes, his will is running my life. And Corona can come into the duck's nest and it might come into the duck's nest, but that's not gonna change anything for me because I believe that my sins are forgiven. So if you are worried, if you are frustrated, if you really don't know what's going on, let me share what's going on. There was an angel that fell from heaven. He was Lucifer, the most beautiful being that God had created, but he got a little too full of himself and the Lord had to put him in his place. So the Lord banished him from heaven. When he fell to earth, and all of this that I'm saying to you can be substantiated by the Holy Scriptures. When Lucifer fell to earth, he became Satan. And his world is in direct opposition to God's law. Everything that God says in the Bible, thou shalt love thy neighbor, Satan is telling you to 
get revenge on your neighbor. The Bible says, do not fear. Satan is creating all kinds of fear. And I could go on and on, but I'm not. Because I don't want to try to make it like I know all the answers. I don't, but I know this much. That God hates spiritual wickedness in high places. And that is what's going on in the world today. So if you need comfort, if you need truth, if you need joy, if you need peace in your life, please, I encourage you to go to the Holy Scriptures. And if you try to read the Bible and you don't understand anything that's going on, go to YouTube and look up Pastor Mike Fabares. Look up The Beat with Alan Parr. Look up Pastor Greg Laurie. Look up Adrian Rogers. Look up Chuck Swindoll. There's so many pastors out there that are preaching the truth. So if you want to know more about Christ and his love for you and the true and living everlasting God, please go to those sources and try to get some peace because there's just not peace in this world right now at all and it breaks my heart because people don't really have or they don't really know what to cling to but be still and know that he is God Jehovah the Adonai the the spirit that created the world so I have talked for 12 minutes about my faith and sharing my faith with you sharing the gospel with you i hope it was clear and if not like i said go to some resources that are a whole lot smarter than i am i can only share my personal testimony but corona ain't corona's not creating any fear up in here okay all right so now let's get on with the handbag portion of this video and the other day i was having a conversation with carmen hawkins who is creating a bag charm for me. And I was telling Carmen that I don't know about my collection. I've said this before on my channel. I've had issues where I feel like I have too many bags and all these bags are starting to come in and suffocate me. <laughs> but I cannot, I have some bags that I absolutely can get rid of, but the majority of my bags, I can't. And I am caught in this handbagging frame of mind because the handbags make me happy. And yes, I am a Christian, but I still need physical things that make me happy. And the handbags make me happy. So I've said this before on my channel as well. Handbagging, where logic goes out of the window. Let me explain or actually let me demonstrate what I mean. At my feet, I have my black totes. Now, I think there are six of these things. And keep in mind, handbaggers, this is just my totes. This doesn't take into consideration my satchels, my crossbodies, my hobos. These are just my black totes. I have six of them, right? Let me share them with you quickly. One, two, four which I have decorated with my lovely piece of material for my tribe sister M squared five and number six so I asked myself, why do you have so many doggone black totes? Why can't you just have one or two? Well, one of them has a contrasting trim. One of them is nylon. One of them is leather. One of them has side pockets. One of them has whip stitching on the side. What blah, 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 insert whatever. Yeah, that's the reason. So I cannot say that Oh, I can only have 
one tote, so I'm going to get rid of the rest of these. Because mm -mm. I'm going to miss the one that's whip stitched on the side, and I'm going to miss the one that has the side pockets with the turn lock, and I'm going to miss the pretty one that has the trim. So, yeah, that's what I mean when I say handbagging, where logic goes out of the window. Anyway. I think we can now move on to an unboxing because I have shared <laughs> probably way more than you guys want to know, but I feel it's um, just something that's been on my heart that I wanted to put into the community. So before I get to the unboxing, let me show this to you. This is this month's Marie Claire. Can you all see it? I don't know. Here, maybe this is easier. So this is the cover of this month's Marie Claire. And when you flip it over, I don't know why they did this, but uh, they have a different photograph of Megan Thee Stallion on the back. And in this video, I'm sorry, in this video, in this, yeah, I guess in this video, I want to share this picture with you. This is Louis Vuitton, of course. And Marie Claire always has designer bags. And this is, I thought, actually the, the suit I thought was really cute. I've never seen a blue and white Louis Vuitton monogram. So the suit paired with the bag, which of course the bag is here, I thought was really cute. I hope you all can see that. All right, so on with the unboxing. And I think what I'm going to unbox first is a gift from a tribe sister. And it came in the mail and I am opening it. She told me about it, but I hadn't seen it. So let me get into this. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, probably a tab that I need to pull, but I'm not smart enough to be able to read, so <laughs> I'm just going to rip into this puppy. Very carefully, of course. the gift or packaged it <laughs> and look it is actually from eBay <laughs> all right seller actually did a good job and I take that back this actually came directly from the seller and not from um, my tribe sister but my tribe sister purchased it for me. <laughs> look, look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. Is this not the cutest Patricia Nash patchwork journal that you have ever seen? If it's not for you, it is for me. And it has the Patricia Sway, uh, Patricia Nash suede on the interior has a leather pocket, a leather card pocket. There's the Patricia Nash logo, a snap, and a pin pocket. Actually, look at the whip stitching. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But wait, there's more. <laughs> it matches my Patricia Nash saddlebag. Look at this, you all. Yes, honey. Oh my gosh. And this was gifted to me by none other than Tribe Sister Says What. I don't know if you all pay attention, but Suz pays attention to our videos. And I don't know how, because she's subscribed to like every single handbagging video in YouTube. But she probably remembered that I had this Patricia Nash saddlebag. And, of course, it has a strap. And uh, she contacted me 
and now I have the matching set. So thank you so much, Suz. Suz, what? <laughs> That's a joke between she and I. And here it is, handbaggers. So thank you so much if you've stayed with me this long. Thank you, and as always, happy caring.